um, we're going to have like this really big snowstorm. So, I'm going to show you how to get your horse ready. Um, like, I'm going to show you how to prepare for a winter storm. Like, take care of your animals, get your horse in. It depends on how bad it's going to be, which we're supposed to be having a really bad storm. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this going because I like to talk a lot. So, um, first step, you want to make sure you have food in. And you want to make sure you have enough water that it's going to last them all night. Um, really rock it. Okay. Uh, you want to make sure you have enough blankets if it's going to get super chilly and you really want to make sure your horse is not going to get sick or cold or anything. You want to make sure you have two blankets. So, um, I have uh, a, coop, um, a thinner blanket that's going to go on the bottom and it has a, a combo that goes around the neck. And then I have the, these are both what, um, weather beaters. So, um, and then I have this super duper thick blanket It's going to go on top of my um, thinner one, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. Let me tie her up. Come here. Come here. Come on. So, first step is make sure your horse is nice and good. Okay. Um, you want you want you want to make sure your horse is nicely groomed so that they're um, not gonna get like a bunch of dirt on your blankets. And then you want to make sure that you're putting it on correctly. So. This would be, okay, this is hard, too big, okay, so this is the back because it has this little string that you would put around the tail, so I'm just going to go ahead and sling it up on, i put it over, I'm not going to completely fasten it all the way yet, just because I'm trying to figure out how it goes, and then this little piece right here on the blanket that goes around the neck, this goes on the top of your head. Um, horse where the crown goes. So you're just going to come on the other side. I have a rope halter so it does untie. Um, I'm just going to stick it through. Two minutes, okay. um, my cameraman is my grandmother, by the way. Uh, oh, sorry. I have to put this around the knot because this halter is a little too big, but that's okay. Still fits correctly. And I'm just going to tie it back. Now you have these pieces right here that goes up on the neck. Um, those wrap around like this. Um, and you're just going to tighten these and you have these little clips right here and you're just going to put these through. A lot of people know how to do a blanket but if you don't, they're pretty simple. Um, this one, I don't have it tied because my weather beta. This one, my really thick one's a lot uh, bigger than this one. Uh, but, so I have to slip it up over her head, so I'm gonna, I'm trying to go as quick as I can, guys. It's really cold. Um, and if you didn't already have this piece tied back here, you're gonna tie that, but it's already tied, and I can just slip her tail through. And then you have these little straps right here. These go up underneath the neck, uh, sorry, not the neck, but the belly. You can cross them, or you can keep them just straight. I like to cross them. So that it's tired. So I'm just going to pull this forwards just a little bit. I'm not trying to rough up her hair or anything. Now I'm just going to take it on this side, pull it over. These are brand new, so they're a little bit harder to tighten up. Whoa. Oh. Now, since you have the one that you were going to put on the bottom, if it's going to get really cold, you're going to do the top one. Whoa. So, First of all, if yours is like mine and it's tied up in the front, you want to figure out how, um, where, the way that it goes. So it goes like this, so I'm just going to shake it off, make sure there's nothing on it, and I'm going to have to unhook her. So what you do is you just unhook the clip right here, you grab them right here by the halter, or you can grab them right there. You're going to take your other hand, and that's if your halt on blankets like that, like mine, and you're just going to pull it back. Now, if the horse is one of the horses that'll run off, you probably want to tie them up before you do the rest that I just done. Which is fix it and get it um, all the way through the back. So, as you can see, it looks kind of crazy, but it's safety precautions to keep your horse from get, um, being sick. And you usually wouldn't have this right here, and you just hooked up that, but I don't have that. So, over here... Like, the, like I said, you can cross it, or you can go and just do it straight, straight. but I like to cross it just because it gives her a little bit more safety precautions and keeping it tighter on her so that it's not as baggy. Now this one has clips for the back legs instead of a tie, so you're just going to clip it on a little triangle, um, and you'll find the other leg. Whoa, easy. 
And you always want to be careful reaching between the legs. Usually you just want to go on the other side like this and grab it and then grab it in between. But my horse is pretty much brown proof, so that's pretty simple. Then you'll make sure they have enough water that'll last through the night. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Um, that's pretty much preparing your horse with blankets for the winter and other things that you would do if you were gonna have a winter storm. So thank you for watching and you'll let them go. Bye!